doors off. Hello, and welcome to the Top of the Pot. My name is Mike, and today is the 1st of July, and we're picking the first of the smart holes. Excellent, isn't it, huh? Marvellous. Let's go and have a look. Come on, we're going to start picking the tomatoes now, and these are uh, black opal, and we probably can hear the polystyrene rattling in the wind, so bear with us. And it's like it's raining in here because yeah. I can't see shit. Yeah. Uh, right. A top tip. I, I haven't left the dog in yet. This is a banana. <laughs> right? And uh, as it decomposes, it gives off a bit of gas and ripens the tomatoes. Look at them there. And they're nice and squash. Squashy. Are they squashy? Nice and ripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I'm telling you so that's the first tomato of 2022. First yeah. of July. There we are. So, nice and squashy is. Yes. Yeah, well, let's try the first one, is it? <laughs> oh, you're going to eat him, are you? Yeah, go on then. Go on then, go on then. Oh, look at that, huh? Camera's not focusing mm. on it, but it's sweet. I don't, I don't like them raw, as you know. So. Nice and sweet. I think they're revolting. Mm. <laughs> That's a thumbs up. Cooked nice, raw, a There we are. Yeah. So who else is harvesting there? Tomatoes, either before us or today. Mm. I mean, we've got a couple of beans ready and all, so we're going to have a look at the beans on a minute. Come on. There's one more there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave them. Uh, I'm going to leave them right in a bit more. Ah, oh, you can go. You can come. Well, home with us. Yeah. We're going to have a look, look down the road now, see if there's any more. We can tell if it, right? If we can give them a little squeeze. Ready for munching. Mmm. It's the first time I've grown these. Oh, I can see a few beans in the background there. Yeah. Look at that. Look. Mm, three little beanies. Uh -huh. uh, look at them, huh? Mmm. across. Doing well. Mm. And I tell you what, the corn. Corn is shocking. Last time we came up was on the 21st. Right? Look at the corn now. It's up to the ceiling. <laughs> it's gone mad. It must have grown minimum two feet in a week. Yeah. Oh, I'm just picking more tomatoes. Oops. Are these all black opal? Yeah. Yeah, you could tell they got like a... Oh, they got a sheen. I was wondering whether they were underripe, but that's, no, no. that's the oh, sheen. If we could, if we can, I don't know if we can see the bounce when you squeeze them. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. A bit of give in the skin. Yeah. Leave it any longer, it'll, it'll split. It just burst like... Yeah, yeah. We've got a weed down for one up there. Oh, yeah, that bind weed. Gently take them off. Just break it from the bottom there. Uh. Yeah. And we've got runner beans growing up the side here. Yeah. I, uh, I, pl I planted them directly into the ground. Cut my work down. And, uh, Seem to be doing alright. Yeah, it's doing a trick. It's ready for picking. Uh, green machine. They're doing really well. There we are. I don't think you want to let them get too big. No. Right. Get the knife on that one. Come back to that one. Yep, nice flower on that one too. Oh, there's one on the floor with a nice flower on too. Mm -hmm. Just going onto the floor. I'll go and get the knife now. Okay. Nice. 
Yeah, because courgettes we struggled with last year, didn't we? Yeah, they we didn't. didn't do very well they at didn't. all. Let me have another one in the bucket. Uh, mm, last year was a courgette disaster. Yeah, yeah, I tried growing them up there outside. And, uh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, got, I see you've got, got a monkey end on that one. I'll cut them off now in a bucket outside. Okay. Put all the, uh, put all the stuff inside there. Here we are with the corn. It's doing really well. I don't know if we can tell how, how much it's grown, but uh, it's nearly going up through the, uh, up through the roof now. Uh, we've got the corn growing. And uh, this stuff now is starting to fall down. So hopefully we'll have some corn under it. Hopefully. Now we're going to chat about the using halos or put put your plant straight in the ground. I think you're better off putting them straight in the ground. Come on, come and have a look. We've got the same tomato, which which is plum, red plum. Uh, we've got this plant here, which is in a, in a square halo. And this one you know it's planted straight into the ground. Uh, I think this one is doing better. That's my opinion, that's what I'm finding out anyway. Because mm, those halos are not cheap, are they? So uh, would we pay ten pounds for three? Hmm. Well, that's money you don't have to spend, isn't it? If they're not of any use to you. But everybody's got their own likes and dislikes, I suppose, with gardening. Some people love them and some people don't. Here we are now up, up the top, we've got some French beans. In the corner, yeah. I'm going to attempt to get all climb over there. Yeah, I got to try and wiggle without, my way around the corn without destroying any plants and yeah. falling over. So, Don't fall overnight because that'll be a you know, be 250 flat. pound job. You flatten in the corn. Well, give me the bucket and then. Oh, you want the bucket then? There we our go. first beans. Yeah, first of July, like we said. Out of our tunnel. Yeah, nice too. Completely weeds. Oh well, weeds are. Uh... Yeah, they're no good to us. But oh what? Everything's got to have a purpose, isn't it? Yeah, they say they keep the keeps the ground moist. I don't know. Keeps the moisture in. Keeps us busy, yes, it does. Yeah, it keeps you busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The beauty of these now, we can cook the whole thing. Yeah, I like prefer French beans to white yeah. beans myself. Yeah, less waste. Yeah. Look at them on there. Take the top off quickly and uh, pop them in the pan for a few minutes. Yeah, if that. Steam them, I like to steam them. And they full and all there. Oh, look at that. Nice. Look at those lovely bees. Now we're going uh, in the pot. There's more down the bottom where you um, harvested yeah, the we're first we're tomato. First. Yes, okay, go through the jungle. We are what is known as maximalists. We like to do the maximum with everything. <laughs> We're definitely not minimalists. Yeah, some more beanies coming out there. Yeah. We've got quite a few. That is a loader. Nice. I like beans. Love those for tea. Yeah. It's a good job I'm so skinny. It is. I you tell know. you what, you'd struggle if you were. Uh... Oh, one got away, one's on the floor. Uh... Oh, pick him up. If I stand yes. side, Grace, you can't see me. No. I guess so. No, no, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that rogue bean gone? He's dropped on the floor. Uh, I'll, I'll have him now. Okay. Right, we'll carry on harvesting. See you in a sec. Okay. And I think, as Nigel's carrying on picking beans, I just spotted a little cucumber that's right for picking as well. So we'll have him. We got it. Cucumber is ready now. I don't let them grow too big because they, they don't taste very nice. So I don't know if we can see it before we chop him off. Yeah, there he is. There I did are. film him a bit earlier and I did spy him. There we go. There we are. And in the pot of goodies he goes. Right. In the pot. You are. You got the pot of goodies. Okay. There we are. Come on then. Come have a look outside. Okay, let's go. I think we need to be harvesting our uh, broccoli or. Yeah, so one or two has gone to seed. Yeah, I just spotted uh, a couple of one is over there has gone to seed. Can we get a knife from? We'll do deal with this. That's up to you. Oh well, then I'll go and get a knife from. Okay. Ooh, I spotted raspberries down there. <gasps> Some raspberries there. Marble them too. Right, our broccoli is ready, so we're gonna 
we're gonna we're gonna pick it now. Okay, it, let's go. Pick, one, pick, or pick, pick, one or two pick. now is gonna gonna see it. So yeah, yeah, and that's that's just since we came up last. Yeah, oh, since I came up last. Yay. Yeah, it goes so quick, don't it? So yeah. I know. Yeah. We got that. That's a nice looking yeah. little piece of broccoli. Well, I'll put it in the basket. Yeah. Put him in the shopping Ooh, basket then. Ooh, look. We'll take him to the he's children. He's nice. The camera's having trouble focusing, but. And he's cutting another one. Take him to the till. Yeah. <laughs> Depends which shop you're getting them from. Leave a little. Oh, whatever. You want them, do you? No, that's fine. Oh, uh, basket. Yes, boss. Up. Oh, two in the basket. Hey, we'll look at those. Well, they're not going to keep. I don't, think, they, going yeah, I don't think they're going to keep now. So yeah. I'll probably have to freeze some. Or, well, if they're going to go, you may as well just chop them all off. Oh, you need a baby one. I think it's because they're planted too close together and the weeds. Believe yeah. it or not, I spent ages pulling all the weeds out. I know, you did. <laughs> yeah. I think you've got to be up here every day of new nights, really. It's just busy. Yeah, it keeps us busy. Ooh, he's quite pretty. Yeah, he's going to see it like his little flower on the top. Yeah. Look at that. You can always share, share them out anyway, the people like. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They'll still be. They'll still be tasty. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so, mm. I think I think that one's a little bit on the ropey side, so I think the ducks or the chucks will love that. Our next job now is these potatoes. I'm digging up early. Uh, it's some sort of blight. They're not doing very well. Mm. But I want the ground now. I'm going to be planting some cabbages in here. So I'm going to get them out. Might be a bit of a failure, but that's gardening for us, isn't it? Right? Yep. You win some, you lose some. So. Let's just suck it up and get on with it. They're very yellow, aren't they? Yeah, something going on with them. One little spread. Oh, not bad. Uh, solid potatoes, isn't it? Yeah. Remember the... Uh Broccoli or calabrese or whatever it is called. I've always known it as broccoli. Ah, uh, yeah. Never heard the word calabrese <laughs> no. before. Oh, a couple of little toady ones. Better than a kick in the teeth. Yeah. Moving along. There's not many on each plant, is there? No, look at it. Mm. Hasn't grown very well either. Not a very strong uh, specimen, yeah, is well. it? Not oh, bad, never mind. You've got to be grateful for what you get, and at least there's something and not nothing. Mm -hmm. There we go. a couple of spots of rain then. Yeah. The weather's been so up and down, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm desperate to paint the house, the side of the house there. But uh can't risk it. The rain come in and going as it pleases. Oh yeah, we'll carry on removing all of these now. And we'll come back and show you what exactly we had from this little row. I'm not oh, quite not sure how far one. he's going up. Oh, hang on, better go back and... Hang on, that's gone in the basket. Okay, back soon. There we are for this row. I'm going to leave the rest of them in now. And dig them up now in the next couple of days. I can spend my time now preparing this now, ready for the cabbages. Trying to get all the weeds out as best I can. But it is really difficult. But we've just got to work with it. These are conditions, mm. you've just got to get on with it and mm. 
Not that, get that weed there is a pain in it with a little like um with, like little pennies on it. Oh yeah. I, I don't know. know what that is. No. But it's rampant up here. Yeah. See little pennies on it, look. What on earth is that? Oh I don't want any more flowers, you can keep those. Special it's just flowers. being cheeky. Right. That's the broccoli and that's about five plants worth of ropey looking spuds. Yay! Here we are, picking courgettes again, green machine. Uh, we put this plant outside, as you can tell. Uh, last year I tried growing them outside and they were they didn't do very well, they were sick. I might have to get the knife. If anybody wants a courgette, just let me know because I've got loads. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Yeah, they're going to swell up too much and be too um, big. When they're smaller, they're sweeter, aren't they? Put in a nice stir fry. We had a nice stir fry last night with them, so. Oh, a couple of dirty fingers, isn't it? Yeah, fingers on well. it. Cool. Green yeah. machine. Here we've got Brussels sprouts and I've planted beetroot in, in between. The beetroot will be ready before the Brussels sprouts. Okay. And uh, I had the garlic in here. I, I, I didn't show that, but uh, I just dug it up and... You did okay on the home. garlic. Yeah, yeah. The got onions up the top. The onions are not looking very good, it's sure. Uh, I don't know why. But that was the way it goes. Yep. And then these are the potatoes that you did actually plant. Yeah. Yeah, these are the planty ones in between the, the metal bars. The ones in the distance there yeah. came up on their own. Alright guys, that's it for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, let me know what I'm doing. And don't forget, get out there and do a bit. Ta-da!